60 Minutes Overtime. I'm Natalie. I'm responsible. <laughs> I'm Natalie. Thank you all for coming. I'm Natalie Summer. I'm a producer at 60 Minutes, and we produced a piece about the Golden State Warriors with correspondent John Wertheim. We spoke with um, some players, and we talked to the coach, Steve Kerr. What have you learned about this team so far this year? Uh, I think the thing I've learned about our team this year is just uh, that we're willing to put in the work. Now you continue to chase, represent that spot. But it's harder than ever. Cover up. All right, here we go. He has eight NBA championship titles to his name, five of those as a player, and then went on to be a broadcaster. He worked for the Suns. He was never coached before. Uh, the Warriors, under new ownership, uh, came calling, and he was hired to be coach of this team. Watch some, some Laker highlights and matchups. And you could easily do a 60 Minutes piece on Steve Kerr alone, and then when you meet him, um, you know, you get the sense that actually, yeah, this guy has lived, you know, this incredible life. We lived around the world and, and um, we lived, I was born in Beirut, we lived in Egypt and France, Tunisia. So I got a pretty worldly education at a young age. Assassins gunned down a prominent American civilian in Lebanon this morning, Malcolm Kerr. Lebanon's civil American war today claimed another American life. The victim this time, however, was a scholar. A pro-Iranian Shiite Muslim terrorist group, Islamic Jihad, has claimed responsibility for killing Dr. Kerr. When he was 18, uh, he was playing college ball in Arizona, and his father, Malcolm Kerr, 52 years old, was stepping off an elevator at the American University of Beirut walking to his office and he was shot twice in the back of the head and killed. Lebanon was sort of in the midst of a civil war. He was targeted because he was the kind of highest profile American that was easily accessible at the time. I think that the way Steve Kerr coaches the team reflects that experience. How does sudden tragedy impact the way you coach? Tragedy, we sort of all have to deal with it at some point in our lives. Um, but when, when it happens, uh, for me, at 18, when it happens early in your life, it gives you a better awareness of how fragile everything is. And so when you, when you get to a good thing, you want to hold on to it, uh, whether that's uh, your family, uh, a certain job, a team that you're coaching, an era that uh, within that time and space where your team is achieving and succeeding like we are right now. You just want to hang on to everything um, because you know it's you know, nothing lasts. Steve Kerr and his family were directly impacted by gun violence. You know, he speaks out on a lot of issues. I think he feels like he really has a platform on that issue because he speaks from personal experience. He fosters that on the team as well. He brings in a lot of speakers. He gives his players the freedom to say what they want on these issues. Coach Kirsch says he sometimes puts politics and social issues on the agenda for, for practice. How does talking about that help you guys win basketball games? It doesn't help you win basketball games. It helps you keep a perspective about your life. So there might be stuff that is said and then locker room and practice about an issue that you might not have looked at it the same way and you can learn. When people say what's it like to play for Steve, what do you, what do you tell them? Well, he doesn't really get in the way too much of uh, letting us be who we are, but at the same time he preaches discipline, uh, teaching every single day and wanting to learn the game and I think that he has great qualities when it comes to that. Steve Kerr came on board five years ago. He took the job in 2014. And uh, since then, the Warriors have gone on to win three championships. And they'll be going for a third straight championship, a three-peat, this season. We talk about it all the time. We're so lucky to be here. We're so lucky to play on this team, to coach this team, to be together. Enjoy the moment. Enjoy this time. Uh, let's ride. Let's keep riding it out.